Hi, you guys. Welcome to the bedroom room. It's me, Chris Kylie. <laughs> I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Rochester Hills, Michigan, and this is live at lunchtime. It happens every Wednesday at noon, right here on my business page. I'm going to check and make sure I really am on my business page, and <laughs> you can see me, and I think that I have got this right today. So, we will see. Today I'm going to share with you um, some cards that we made yesterday. I have a birthday club that meets once a month and yesterday we met and we were focused on this gorgeous paper. This paper is um, called Dainty Flowers and it is on it's a free paper. It's on page six and seven of the mini catalog. Look at all these gorgeous cards that they have made with this. This is one of those um, packs of paper that does all of the work. The Designer Series paper does all of the work, and all you have to do is add a sentiment and enjoy. These are some gorgeous samples, and it coordinates with the Dainty Delight Bundle, which is in this mini catalog right here, and it is on page 55. So it is this set here. Well, and you can see those cards are just absolutely gorgeous. It has dies that coordinate with it. So, and it, um, and it also has sentiments. So there's a birthday, a thank you, the best is just to come. Um, sending love during the season of growth. So lots of great sentiments in there, and they are um, in two different fonts also. So gorgeous stamp set to go with this beautiful paper. And this piece right here, you can see, he has six of these little like wreaths. And they're kind of um, oval wreaths. I think that they go in this direction, but I've seen lots of them going um, horizontally like that. And then you have these beautiful flowers in the middle. And then, let me cut these down to be six by six. So you can easily see how gorgeous all of these papers are. Aren't they beautiful? I just think they are so pretty. And they coordinate with each other just beautifully. And you don't have to, like you can see, they just, um, they all coordinate. So it doesn't have to be your front and your back together. This one looks really good with that starry sky. And then we have a couple more here that are really pretty also. Okay, so we're going to dive right in. I'm only going to keep you about a half an hour. I know people are watching on their lunch hour as they're at work. So um, I'm going to try and start off with some things that uh, we can do quickly. We should be able to do all of these in a half an hour. Oh, oh I forgot my kits for these. Hang on one second. The best laid plans, right? <laughs> Okay, so at Club, they make two of each of these, and their packets come like this. So, I think we're going to do, this one is going to be our pink one. Here we go. Alright, so, we have a piece of Blushing Bright cardstock. This piece is cut five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we have a piece of the designer series paper going in on top of it. And th this is that wreath paper that I was just showing you. Um, so let's start. Your paper is eight and a half by five and a half, scored on the long side at four and a quarter. We are just going to burnish it on that score line. I am going to take this piece of designer series paper, and again, you can make it go this way if you want, but um, I'm going to flip it this way. So, and I'm just going to use some regular stamp and seal on there. And let's get it started this morning. I don't know, is it snowing where you guys are? I think we're going to get about three inches. It's been snowing for a long time this morning. I got up at 5.30 and it was already snowing. So 
that was a lot of fun. Now we're going to distress this. I did it two different ways so you can see the difference when you're distressing it. So this way is it is not distressed at all. And I think I'm coming so that I am not upside down for you. At least that was my focus. I went to my friend's house. Um, she helped me with Happy Snow Day, Kathy. <laughs> Definitely here in Michigan. Thanks for sharing, Kay. I'm sure in North Carolina, you guys are not getting the snow that we are, but um, it's nice to be inside crafting when it's snowing like this. So this is my paper without distressing it. And then this is it when I have distressed it. It gives it more of a kind of a vintage look to it, I think. So I'm going to go and go ahead and show you how to distress it. You can do it two ways. You can do it simply by dragging your fingernail across it, just like that. And you can see it's just kind of folding up the paper a little bit but I like to do it with my snips so I just open my snips up kind of hold them right in the middle there hold my paper up so my edge is facing up I'm gonna grab my little scissor charm and just scrape it and I'm gonna leave some of those little designs hanging there I'm gonna kind of cut into my paper a little bit um, it, it is a little bit tedious and you do get a little like paper flakes all over. So if you're a neat freak, the gals yesterday were just keeping it right on their scrap paper and I cut right into my paper there and I'm going to leave it just like that. It's kind of a, a shabby chic or vintage look to it. And then you're just going to continue to turn your paper. So the gals yesterday kind of left theirs on their scrap paper so they could just lift their grid paper up and kind of dump all those little fuzzies off. They're just kind of like little paper curls, if you can see them there. And you're just going to do this all the way around your card. I started off with this card because it the paper is gorgeous, but I showed you a few little different um, techniques or little tricks that I like to use. So I thought, well, I'll start with this one. And hopefully you guys are on and, and ready to see a few new little tricks here. I don't know, one of the gals yesterday had never done this before. So, and I haven't done it in a long time. It just, this paper just kind of screams a shabby, chic kind of floral uh, look to it. So, there we go. And see how you can see all those little kind of paper flecks in there? And we're just going to dump those off. Get them out of the way. Trash here, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. My sentiments all came from um, the same stamp set, I believe. And it was the oh no, they came from different ones because they're all birthday stamps because it was birthday club. So I'm just going to do an easy one, two, three tap on my ink pad. Don't push it down and rub it around because then you're going to get ink all over around the edges and that will come up on your paper. Now this one you can see exactly where you want to stamp it and I'm going to come up a little bit because I'm going to put a bow down at the bottom. Okay so my bow um, with the, the club they got some little iridescent gems and a spool of ribbon and uh, all kinds of different things because we did it around the perpetual birthday calendar kit that was available. So we took this ribbon. In fact, let me let me grab mine real quick for you, and I'll show you how we started off. So we have this ribbon here, and this is a petal pink ribbon, and it is so soft. It's soft polyester ribbon, and it is amazingly soft. 
So I just took a little piece, I'm gonna just take a little one and I'm gonna cut the edge off. So I'm just gonna cut right along that edge and I'm not gonna get all bent out of shape about it being even or not, but you do wanna cut that entire edge off, okay? And then you're just gonna start pulling your threads. And I pulled enough for two bows off each one. So you're just gonna pull it and you'll have some short ones depending on how straight you cut it. So you have just kind of this little fringe here, which I think is really cool. So you're gonna end up with a piece that looks like this, okay? And I actually took this piece, and I have a girlfriend in Downline, Jackie, who used it in the green, um, I think it was an evening ever, no, it was an old olive ribbon that was like this, and she frayed it and then used it for grass, which was really cool. But I just took it and made a little bow, so you can see that you don't want to throw this piece away. Okay, we're not going to use it today, but you can obviously use it like that and still be getting a lot of options with that. What I did was I just took it after I frayed it and tied it into a bow. And I'm just gonna use a little glue dot. Get rid of that. A little glue dot on the back of it. And put it right down at the bottom where I left that extra space, okay? So this is like one of those quick and easy five minute cards just because uh, the, this gorgeous paper does all of the work for you. So I'm just gonna add a little Stampin' Seal and put that on right in the center. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's so pretty. Now, like I said, we got some little um, iridescent uh, sequins in our kit. But I am going to use um, these pastel adhesive backed gems because I kind of think that pink is going to be really pretty with it. You can see on this one, those are the gems that are the sequins that actually came with the kit. But I'm going to use some of these pink ones because I think that will be kind of fun with it. And you can actually you know, use anything that you wanted in here. Or you could skip the bling. We don't always need to add that bling if we don't want to. Um, I'm going to add some right over here. And then I'm going to put one right there. Okay. So that was our first quick and easy card. This paper... I'm, does all the work. You guys are going to be sick of hearing me say that by the, when our time is over together here today, but it truly does. Gorgeous paper. And it's free with a $50 purchase. So that was one of the first things that I grabbed and I am not sorry about it. Um, if you want kits for all of these cards, just place a minimum $50 order on my website using the code, and I will post the code here. And if you do it before the end of January, you are going to get not only a kit for the four cards I'm going to share with you today, but you will get a free Stampa Stack class where you're going to make 12 cards with celebration sets. And that's going to take place on... Um, February 5th, which is a Sunday. And so that's it when you place your order. And that's going to be a lot of fun. You can come to the rubber room and do it, or you can get it to go. So either way you want that one. This one is super duper simple. And let's get our little card kit here. We are going to do Mossy Meadow. So we have our card base. We have a five and a quarter by four that's gonna go on the inside. We have a piece that is five and a quarter by four for the outside, and I've already embossed it. You can see how it has those leaves on there. It was a um, 3D embossing folder, and it's called a hybrid folder because it does have a die that will cut all of those images out for you. And then I have taken a stylish shapes die and just cut a circle. 
with my stylish shape style, right? So those are our pieces for this one. And a little bit disorganized. Where am I? Okay, here's my mellow moss. And you're gonna get a piece of white paper and a piece of mellow moss paper. Okay. So let's get this one with this basket out of the way. Over here. I'm trying to keep my space clean and it's not working too well. And let's see, it looks like all my lights went out. We're just having the time of our life here today, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes when it, the snow is real heavy like it is today, we, we are going to lose our power, or at least it feels like we're going to. So I'm kind of watching my my lights here as they're flickering. All right, so we have a little piece of basic white and a piece of mossy meadow. So I'm just going to, again, use my mossy meadow ink. I'm going to ink up my little happy birthday and stamp it right on my white. And I'm not going to be too concerned about whether it's at the top or the bottom or straight because I am going to trim it. Okay. So I'm just going to come in with my paper snips and trim it here at a little bit of an angle. Here at a little bit of an angle. And then... I guess I did get it pretty straight, so I'm just going to bring them in and trim the bottom. Okay. And it's much easier to cut straight on this little piece than you think it is because you have your words to kind of line it up with. So then I'm just going to put this right on top of here. And I can see I got a little, little bit there that I want to shorten up okay perfect and let's get some adhesive on that bad boy and i'm just gonna lay it right on top of my mossy meadow like that and these are just scrap pieces of paper i always have lots of scrap paper um, and i keep it just for reasons like this Easy peasy here, you guys. So eight and a half by five and a half. And we have scored it on the long side at four and a quarter. I'm just going to fold on the edge, the burnished line, score line, and burnish it. I am going to bring in my mellow moss piece. This one, I'm going to use some of our foam adhesive strips. You guys that watch me a lot know I love these. So, um, I often, I, I use them as much as I do my regular dimensionals, I think, sometimes. Because it gives, I want this whole big piece lifted. And so, I want to get the best kind of sized dimensional that I can for that. And that is going to be these big strips. And again, you can cut these just like you do um, your regular ones. Okay, and what I do is I just pull the whole strip off. They work just like dimensionals do, so they're sticky on the front and sticky on the back. So I'm just going to flip it up and put this one over here. And then I have my little end piece that I will put here. And this piece, I'm just going to kind of fill in here a little bit. And I think I'll do this and then just kind of guesstimate my little space there. Let's see how close I came. Oh, I came close enough for me. So that's my pack of foam adhesive strips. All right, so let's get this one up. 
peel the backs off all of these. Let's take a little minute. So I do have some upcoming classes other than just my Celebration stamp -a stack um, I'll tell you guys about. And I have Color Craze coming up. And I have some kits. The kits you see me using. I always have one or two extra that I make for people that place orders so I can put them in the mail. And so I have, um, okay, I'm just going to pop this on here. So I have, have a kit day coming up where you can come, find a kit that you like, and make it. You have to RSVP so I know how many tables to set out. But um, it's you're just going to pay per cart that you make. And it's two dollars per card. Now you can do this on this side if you want, and it would be just beautiful, also, right? That's the beauty of our paper. It's hard to decide which side of it you want to use because it is gorgeous no matter what side you use. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pluck my circle on there. I did take my linen thread and make bows for everybody. I usually tie my bows um, for my gals at my classes. Some of my customers in my downline are crazy about bow tying. And I don't mind it. It's kind of like fussy cutting for me. I find it a little bit relaxing. So I don't mind it at all cutting for them. And let's get some dimensionals out. I'm not sure if that big one is going to work on there, but let's see. Oh yeah, fits perfectly. Okay. There we go. And we're just gonna pop this on there. So this one, not a lot of techniques, but quick and easy. And perfect for any beginner card maker. Um, just gorgeous. Absolutely love. And you can see this one. Uh, because we uh, did our circle out of an entire piece of paper, you have all different kinds of patterns for here. Okay, so we used this one, and I also gave them some of our butterflies. So we have these beautiful brushed brass butterflies. And they're adhesive on the back. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some around on my card. I think butterflies are beautiful, especially in the summertime. I have a big butterfly bush, and I just love to watch the butterflies on it. I think they're kind of like snowflakes. No two are really all ever the same, right? And we'll put this one down here. Okay, how about that, you guys? And let me pop through here and see if there are any questions. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me. I love that you do that. Oh, Susie shoveling snow earlier. You are very brave. <laughs> My husband was already out too. He likes to shovel before it gets too deep. Okay, guys, let's buzz on to one more real quick because this is one of my favorite techniques that I like to do. So I like to share it too. Oops, I forgot that last card. I We cut um, this white piece. I have to put it on the inside, for the inside. And if I forget to do it now, I won't get it done. So I'm just gonna, oh, that was not my sample. There we go, there we go. All right, when I do a dark card in class, I like to give them a white piece so that they can stamp right on it. This one will be really quick and simple because I know I, I really do try my best to stick to um, just a half hour with you guys so you can then relax and have a little bite to eat so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna take this piece of ribbon decide which side I like best I think I kind of like this knotted look better I did the fancy one on the other side but I think I'm gonna do this one here so 
I am going to ink up my stamp. For those of you that are new, don't know how our ink pads work, they have like a little lip right here and you open it like you do a compact. So I'm just gonna put my thumb there and lift up, flip it over and then push it towards me. And then I'm going to take my block, and just do the one, two, three, this color ink is a little bit hard for me to be sure I have it all and so I tend to get it around my edges like that and I don't want that so I'm gonna grab my cleaner here and just um, I'm gonna use my Stampin Mist and just spray some on a cloth and then just kind of wipe that little extra off around those edges because I don't want to get that on my ribbon. And we're actually going to be stamping on the ribbon as opposed to stamping our sentiment on cardstock. I'm having a hard time inking this one. Okay, that'll do it. I kind of need to re-ink my ink pad so so I'm just going to lay my ribbon straight and put my words right on top of it and this is how it will come in your kit when you place your order just like that so it'll be tied for you and you'll just have to stamp on it nothing in your kits will be stamped so you will have to use your own stamps and sentiments so for this one, we're using Fresh Freesia and Rich Razzleberry. So I'm gonna bring in my card base here. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter on the long side. Just use my bone folder to burnish that edge. And then I have taken my Rich Razzleberry and cut it at four and a quarter, four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to add that on top of my card base with a little stamp and seal. I'm glad I'm not upside down. I, I went to my girlfriend's house and I said I need help with my photography and with my videoing. I'm all of a sudden upside down and my pictures don't look too good. So she actually was very helpful. I have another downline who's helping me. Um, who is helping me she's redoing my watermark for me so I have my logo on it so hopefully soon you guys will see a big difference in um, my well I forgot to put my ribbon on here let me see if I can peel that up I'm um, in my not only my videos because today I'm not upside down anymore at least I think I'm not and um, also in my pictures so we'll, we'll get that going on for you Okay, so I'm gonna take my ribbon and before I glue this, this down on my car, <laughs> I am going to glue my ribbon down. And just like that. And I kind of want my ribbon to be up here a little bit as opposed to or my knot. So I'm just gonna unknot it and move it a little bit. And that is perfectly fine. When I knot them, it's just kind of a guesstimate as to where you're going to put it. And it might make a difference, too, as to where you're going to stamp your words. But I think I'm going to like mine just like that. So, here we go. And I'm going to just tape there. So you guys have a couple different ribbon techniques that we used today. I like to tape over my ribbon so that it stays really tight. I'm just gonna cut this off where it's spraying here. And then the last card that we did was our um, gift card holder. So I'll show you that one. I won't make it with you, but I will show it to you. And when you place an order using my host code, you will get the kit for that one also. It up a little and then put it back on there nice and straight 
And I'm going to take a little bit of t adhesive and just put it right in the middle there so my words will stay down. Okay. And I'm going to bring in, I have, <laughs> I love my bling, you guys. And, and we have some of the best bling in our new mini catalog. It's, it's amazing. So these are our adhesive back sequence gems. And I love that little purple in there. So I'm going to use that. You could use the green too with the greenery on the cards. I think I'm going to have to pop my take your pick tool out to do this one. And I've just a little bit of where I had a little shadow. So that's the first place I'm going to put that. And then I'm going to think I'm going to put like a two kind of rounded here. Yeah, I don't like that on the ribbon. So I'm going to do there. Kind of just a little under my ribbon. There we go. Okay. So that's our third one. And you guys, really super easy, right? And then here is number four. And it is our gift card holder. So um, the new labels dies. Uh, I'll put them on here. But I cannot, the, they're in the mini catalog and they're absolutely amazing. I use them, I have used them probably for half, at least three quarters of the cards that I have made since I got this new catalog, um, these new catalog products. They're called Something Fancy Dyes and they are on page 17 of this catalog. And if you are looking for something to get you to that $50 where you can get this paper for free, this is the perfect thing. It's $45, so you can get that in an adhesive, and you will be all set. And you can order the Dainty Delights paper for free, or Dainty Flowers it is. But see these dyes? They match these sentiments and then they have a layer behind them so that's what this one is and it's the I didn't forget your birthday I'm just stretching it out so these all of these sentiments and there are 10 sentiments here that are absolutely amazing and they all fit these little dies so it's it it makes your card making super easy so this is what we did for this one just layered those two pieces together and again that beautiful designer series paper and this is you can write your sentiment on here you can um, add a gift card here you can stick a check in there you can stick a cash in there so that's kind of our gift card holder so we have that one and then this beautiful one and then this gorgeous one and this gorgeous one. So you have some great ribbon ideas here. Just different ways to dress up that beautiful paper. I will add my host code and my order. And don't forget, um, February 5th is the Stampus Stack. And you'll make two each of six cards. If you don't want to place an order, that's fine. You can come to the class and just pay $25 for the class. If you want your class for free, you do have to use the host code. And it has to be a minimum $50 order. Okay? Thanks for tuning in, you guys. It was great to see you. Stay warm, everybody. Okay, bye-bye.